guys, it's Liv. I'm wearing a hat because I haven't washed my hair in like legit three days and also someone told me that it looked like I had gray hair and that I was 30 so I just decided to wear this hat to, you know, avoid any other hair haters. So today I have three easy vegan after school snacks for you. I remember what I used to eat when I came home from school and let me tell you, probably were not the best snack choices. So I just thought I would come up with some easy vegan after school snacks for those of you who want to eat something after school, you don't want to eat something that's super junky and bad for you, but you also don't really just want to come home and eat like three bananas, you know what I'm saying? You want something that feels a little bit more fun like a snack, but you don't want it to take forever and you just want to be able to eat it as soon as you get home. So that is the goal of this video. They are relatively healthy depending on what your definition of healthy is some people always say no matter what I make it's not healthy so I mean you know use your judgment if you think one of them's not healthy then just don't eat it okay that is everything I have to say right now let's get into the video Okay, so the first thing you need to do for the grilled cheese sticks is take two slices of bread. Make sure this is the kind that's really soft and not like a dense one with a lot of seeds or anything. And just use a rolling pin or a glass like I'm using to roll it out really flat. Then you're just going to add a line of shredded vegan cheese and roll it up with your hands as tightly as you can. Then just use some vegan butter and butter both sides of each piece of bread. Then just put it into a panini press like I'm using or you can use a frying pan but if you're using a frying pan just be careful that it doesn't come unrolled and a way you can do this is to just press down on it with a spatula so that the end gets kind of toasted and sealed. So for the dipping sauce I just used two tablespoons of tomato sauce and then a sprinkle of dried herbs like parsley and basil and oregano. And then I just heated mine in the microwave so that the flavors kind of blended together and it was warm. And that's it! Once they're all toasty and melty and delicious, you just dip them in the sauce and enjoy them. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but the first thing you're going to do is slice up an apple. So I cut mine in the regular chunks and then I cut each of those in half. So as you can see, I was really close to cutting my fingers here, so just be really careful. <laughs> then I arranged them on a plate in this pinwheel shape, but you can also just throw them on like you would with regular nachos. To top it, I melted some of this cookie butter, which is actually vegan, but you could also use peanut butter or almond butter, and I just drizzled that on in like a swirly pattern. Then I used this uh, raw coconut cacao butter that I got from Pete's Fine Foods, and I just drizzled that as well, but you could also use like homemade vegan Nutella or melted chocolate or anything like that. Then, of course, I just topped it with some chocolate chips and some granola. Another thing that would work really well is shredded coconut and dried fruit. This third one is definitely my favorite. So to make the cream cheese drizzle, we're just going to do half a cup of cashews and half a cup of water, and then a tablespoon of vegan cream cheese. If you don't have the vegan cream cheese, you could also just add about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Then you're just going to toast two pieces of bread and put some vegan butter on it. Then just sprinkle on some cinnamon sugar. I made mine with two teaspoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then in a swirly shape, you're just going to put on the cream cheese icing. And this tasted so good. It is definitely my new favorite snack. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can definitely make more of these if you want. I have a ton of ideas that I came up with after filming this that I could do. I could also do themed ones, so like I could do, I don't know, you guys make up the themes. I can do whatever. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.